Howdy y'all. This one will be quick. As you can see, Death Ender's back there. And um, my socks are both white, completely white, except for one has a golden rod stain on it from Petromalt. So today we'll as quickly as possible, and this will be just the beginning of your studies. Maybe it's in the middle of your studies of Jerusalem. What does that name mean? So it's, it's a beautiful thing to study the name of the city where our Lord has given his name. So, Father, you are patient to save. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, Jerusalem, um, it could have to, something to do with Yara, Yeru. Yara, the first part, could mean it could be related to Yara, because in Hebrew, many things are related to each other by just one vowel difference, by just um, one um, consonant difference, one sound difference. So Yara means, which could be the beginning, Yaru, Yara, um, arrow, or the flow of a river, or it could therefore mean instruction. Um, I love how Hebrew and our languages, the physical could relate to the spiritual meaning and the practical meaning. Um, so an arrow turns into a way of pointing. So um, that means a way of teaching and showing someone where to go. So that could mean yara has to do perhaps with instruction or teaching. And shalom... Um, it has to do with being safe. Let me see, being safe, being completed, therefore being friendly. Um, Shalaim has to do with hills, dual hills. The plural is the im, I am at the end. And so dual hills, could that have to do with, um, with the father and the son who will be enthroned there in future? Yerushalem. Shalem could mean, um, Shalem means safe, complete, or whole in the adjective form. Um, it's a peaceful something, it's a safe something. Um, shalem um, in the verb sense means to repay, to make restitution, to make peace. So we see these beautiful meanings of it, to fulfill vows. And so we see many wonderful things fulfill vows as in our Lord keeping his promises to that place um, of what he will do there, of Zion being restored there, um, Zion coming there. And we see marriages there. Solomon had his marriage there. Um, it was in a way a wonderful marriage when, um, when the Ark of the Covenant was brought into Jerusalem by the Beloved One, by David, whose name means Beloved in the Hebrew. And we also see, finally, in the Greek, that Hieru Salomon, or Hieru Salomon, Salomon, um, or Yerushalem, or Yerushalem, I think it's, no, it's Salem um, in the Greek. Hieru Salomon, um, has to do with Solomon. It has to do with, um, therefore, with peace. The name Solomon or Shlomo. Um, it has to do with peace. And um, and as you remember, um, that is David's son from the Old Testament. And so Hiero. Hieron, Hieron means temple or sanctuary in Greek. And hieros means priest, um, or one who performed the sacrificial rites. And um, Jerusalem, um, Jesus pronounces over Jerusalem, 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 um, you who killed the prophets. Um, how many times I wanted to gather you under my wings like a hen does her chicks, but... Um, so he pronounces it Jerusalem there. And 
And so you see what it means even in the Greek. Um, hieros also means holy or divine. So not only temple, but holy or divine. So it could also therefore mean the temple. So in total, it could mean the temple of peace. It could mean the temple of Solomon. It could mean the holy place of peace, the holy place of Solomon. It could also mean from the Hebrew, um, the, the teaching of peace, the teaching of restitution. It could mean the way and the flowing of peace. It could mean um, the way of the vows. Um, and it could mean the place of fellowship, offering, and peacemaking. And it could be just teaching of peace. And, or it could mean the teaching of the dual hills. So this, these are the meanings of Jerusalem. And we can sing very quickly of the way it makes us feel because of all that has happened there and all that will happen there. So, Yerushalayim, 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 So we can feel all the things that have happened there and pronounce our hope because he has promised things to happen there. Last of all, Jesus was killed outside of the gate because to those who are killing him and to those who are crucified, were crucified in that day, um, they didn't want to do that in a holy city. They did they put the wasteful things and the ugly things outside of the gate of Jerusalem. So Jesus was crucified outside of the gate, and that also was prophesied. And also thank you for, lastly, last, lastly, thank you for Lou for the shirt on my back. And, um, and I'll, I'll put everything else in the description. Thank you for wanting to know and for learning with me. Please study more and I'd like to hear what you are learning and what you are seeing has happened in Jerusalem and what what the meaning of it is. God bless y'all and I miss y'all. See you soon.